Hey everyone, it's East and West. We are, for my second video, we are going to be playing as Matt Tift in his Speedco car, number 36, at the Gander RV 400 at Dover, and uh, and we're starting fourth. Now, uh, you're probably wondering, who's Matt Tift? Well, before we start, we're going to see the stories. Ryan Newman is really fast today. Good. Brad Keselowski qualified in first. And Chase Elliott failed the pre-race inspection. Bummer. So, about Matt Tift and Dover. Fun fact. Dover is Matt Tift's favorite racetrack. Well, that's what... I mean, I read it on a hero card. Like, they say his favorite track is Dover. I mean... I don't know if it's true or not, I have no idea, as we're at the green flag, we're on the first lap as we've started in fourth position, or maybe we're in third right now, because we're nearby Kyle Bush, as we're going to try and pass Kevin Harvick and Brad, now we're past Brad, now we have to catch Harvick, now we have to deal with Harvick for 12 laps, so about Matt Tift, from what I, after a quick trip to Wikipedia, I learned that Matt Tift in the truck series. I remember he competed in the in the 54 truck for Kyle Busch Motorsports. Then, like uh, I don't know what year it was, but I remember. Then he then drove the 19 car for Joe Gibbs Racing. He then drove. Then in 2018, I remember him driving the two car. Sponsor two car sponsored by Tunity, which is a major sponsor of his. Basically, although Tunity is a major sponsor of him, I prefer this Speedco car because it looks really good. And right now, Kyle Busch apparently wants to battle with us. Thus, for the front as we start lap four. Then later in 2019, then in 2018, uh, it was announced Matt Tift would move on up to the Cup Series for the 2019 season. And uh, basically, what happened was that. Front Row Motorsports would field a third car entry, and Matt Tift actually got to choose the number for the car. He chose the number 36 in honor of his mentor, former NASCAR driver Kenny Schrader. And for those who don't know about Kenny Schrader's number, Kenny Schrader did have the number of 36 in the early 2000s. Like, I also think it was late 90s, too, as we accidentally take the high lane and Kyle Busch goes after us so from what up but basically Matt Tiff was supposed to compete the entire season but before the fall Martinsville race Matt Tiff had a medical issue and he had to be out for the rest of the season which I feel really bad for the guy because like that would I mean like that was Matt's first season I feel bad for him like he kind of remind he kind of reminded me of Brian Vickers when he was having medical issues too which put him out of action and as we start lap 7, as we try to battle Kyle Busch for the win. Win with about 5 laps to go here at Dover. As we're going to look at the low lane and get by him. Oh, I think we're going to get by him. As uh, we come, oh, as we charge back into the front stretch to start lap 8. And like, yeah... Matt Tift has had medical issues for quite some time, and I feel bad for him because of that. And, like, Matt Tift actually has a channel. It's called Matt and Jordan, but they haven't posted a video since late 2018 for some reason. I don't know why. As we start lap 9, as Kyle is still trying to get around us, And eventually, I will do a video that has his Tunity and Surface sunscreen car. Oh, and yeah, and that's another thing. Surface sunscreen is another major sponsor of Matt Tift other than Tunity. Basically, I actually had to do some research on the company of Tunity, and I found out it's like an app. You can, like, hear any TV that is muted or something. Because they're still trying to battle Kyle Busch as lap traffic, unfortunately, is coming in as we just lapped BJ McLeod. 
and Landon Castle got on the road of me. Next time will be the white flag, and eventually I have to try and... I'm battling really hard against Kyle here. Here in, like, Ty Dillon, unfortunately, is ahead of him, which is going to block him as... Dang it. Took the high lane again. No, we got we only got one more lap to catch him. This is the final lap as we got a battle against Kyle. Da, Brendan gone. Brendan gone. Come on, Brendan gone. Move. Okay, we're now in the lead. Kyle's far behind us. Here we come into the front stretch, and we are going to win as Matt Tift. Woo! What a good win. Let's burn out. But usually burning out at Dover is kind of a little bit tricky. Ah, oh, dang it. Get toward the stance so we can burn out in front of them. Whoa! Let's go to victory lane. Also, I will be doing a video on with his Tunity and Surface sunscreen car. What? A, what a great race we had also be sure to like and subscribe and comment for more of the for more videos like these but however I won't be doing the tunity car at Dover I'll be doing it somewhere else you can give me some ideas in the comment section of where you want me to race him so anyways that's all for this video have a nice day